Okay guys, in today's video, I will show you how you can fix any issues related to your VR device and Steam VR lagging, not connecting properly, or just generally causing you to have a bad game session. First of all, we should start with saying that, of course, always use Steam VR on your PC, and I use a MetaQuest 2 myself, so I also have an Oculus program here. We will use both of these programs to make sure the gaming experience is always sublime and always perfect. The first thing we will do is to go to our Oculus app. And of course, if you have done everything you can do with the Oculus app itself, you can directly go to devices. If you have not, you should connect your device first and of course like login and everything. But if you have done those devices, you will see that my Quest 2 is showing up here. It says not connected right now because my headset is closed. But when it's on, you will be able to see it again, of course, and click it. When you click it, you will see the device's audio settings, input settings, or different settings. That's fine. That's totally cool. But the more important part is here with the USB test. If your VR system is lagging in any kind of way, I suggest you actually use a cable. And even if you're like having a cable and still having VR lag, test connection here. Normally, personally, I have a generally good internet connection, so my VR can work with Wi-Fi perfectly. But if you don't have a good enough Wi-Fi connection, you can always come to this place and do test connection. But let's say that you did test connection and everything, it works great and you don't want to use with Wi-Fi, but on Steam part in games, it still lags. What can we do? If it's not a problem with the Oculus and we cannot solve the issue from Oculus itself by any of the settings, of course, you can always go change the visuals, change the general idea, change the megahertz of the setting. But generally, if they don't change anything, we have to go through Steam. Now, since we open Steam, we will first of all close the family view so we can go into settings. We will go to settings from here. We will go into our storage. And in Steam VR, it, we will see that it's installed and it's like takes that much space and everything. Those are not the important part. The important part is that we need to click this guy and we can do multiple things. We can do repair library, browse folder, but of course I wanna, before I do anything, I will find it from here as well. Yes, I will go into my Steam VR first. Of course, first of all, do the Steam VR performance test to see if you have any problems. If Steam VR performance test doesn't show anything, go to Steam VR. Go properties, installed files, and verify integrity of tool files to make sure everything is working correctly. You will click it and it will start a verification progress. And if it says no files are missing, we will see what else we can do. Of course, for me, it said that all files were successfully validated. But if you have like big lag issues and general performance issues, you might be missing some files. And if you are missing some files, it would automatically uh, make, the, make sure these files are downloaded. So it might solve your issues. If you are still having problems, you should just go back and then from manage, uninstall and reinstall it again to make sure all files are fresh and updated. And that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope this video helped you guys. And in any case, if you have any issues, you can always tell us about it down in the comment section. And by any chance, we hope to see you in the next videos. Have a great day and goodbye.